In Marvel Heroes, you are playing as the Marvel heroes, so you're not playing as a knockoff. You are the big guys, so you're Thor, Captain America, Spider-Man. The best thing about this game is that you get to play as your favorite Marvel characters. You get to design them in the way you want them. You have them dressed the way you want them dressed. You have them doing what you want them to do. One of the most important aspects to designing anything in Marvel Heroes is making sure that we're true to the Marvel Universe. So when I'm searching for reference, personally, I will look at the comic books first. That's where the history's at, that's where I get all my ideas. The process of getting a hero into the game spans several departments. So it all starts with a brainstorming meeting. The entire team is brought into a room and they're discussing their thoughts of how a certain character should play and what kind of powers that character should have. From the brainstorming session, the work gets split off into two different departments. The art team figures out how to make the characters look as iconic as we would expect. And the design team comes up with what the powers are going to be. From our brainstorming meeting, designers are then able to come up with a set of powers. The designers will take those powers and put them in the game and get them working as close as they can, then they, they send it down the pipeline. Some of the challenges we have, especially when we're looking at the look, is what is the look of these characters? And they've been portrayed in so many ways throughout the years. There are literally thousands of images in the Marvel comics, and we like to use those as our reference. We digitally sculpt each hero in ZBrush. Every hero's costume is actually a separate digital model. So we try to match the source material as much as we possibly can. In most of the cases, we can hit it pretty dead on in terms of how it looks. On average, it takes us about four days to make a model. Sometimes they could take as long as a week or even two weeks. We end up with these super high resolution grayscale 3D models that we then paint and make a texture map, a normal map, and a specular map. Then we build the materials in Unreal so that the different surfaces react to light as you'd expect. After that, we bring the hero into Maya for rigging and animation setup. Rigging is required to make our characters behave naturally. They put constraints on the body so that the animators can move them in believable poses. The things you wouldn't really think of are like capes, so for Thor, we'll add bones to his cape. So pretty much, if it moves, it probably needs a skeletal system. Once a model is rigged, it goes to the animation department. They give it run cycles, emotes, and power animations. Basically, every move the hero makes in the game. So once the animations are done, then the effects artist will take that into Unreal, and then they will add the particles and the models and mesh effects, materials, you know, everything to finish off the power. So if it's you know, Thor's hammer, we want to support that movement of the spinning and then have the throw and then the electricity of the hammer and everything kind of support it. And then finally, they will go to the audio group who you know, give all the same sound effects so Spider-Man's web thwip sounds like Spider-Man's web thwip to kind of put the icing on the cake to make it a full power. One of the things that I'm most proud of in Marvel Heroes is how differently every single hero plays from each other. There are dozens of characters in the game. Um, each one gets a lot of attention, a lot of detail to make sure that they're very unique, a unique play style, unique looks, unique costumes. It's a very different experience, a very different game with each of the different characters you can play as. So in the comic books, you know, you would find that Hulk and Thing look like they would have similar powers in a video game. We've decided that our version of the Thing has a lot of team-oriented skills. The way that he plays ends up being very different than Hulk, who's all about DPS and throwing things and smashing and uh, you know, really want to make sure that we find a balanced experience for everybody. So playing as Iron Man, even at level one, we want to make you feel powerful. We want to make sure that he has all the repulsor beams and blasts that you come to expect from the character. And then as you progress him up and get him stronger, uh, he'll have different abilities that you, know, you would find in the movies, or the TV shows, or the comic books that are that much more powerful than what you had to begin with. When you put a point into the power trees with Marvel Heroes, uh, you unlock new abilities, and a lot of times it can do things that you have not had the ability to do in the game. It really makes you feel more like the character. Every single character has kind of signature powers that are very unique that nobody else can do. And so even something as simple as Hulk getting mad, nobody else gets mad like the Hulk. And so that in and of itself makes sure that the characters play differently from each other. And you're not restricted to just one hero throughout your whole play experience. You're able to collect multiple heroes and play as each one of them as you go through the game. You can unlock new characters in the game, first and foremost through drops uh, by defeating different bosses. As long as we keep going, I think we'll be adding as many characters as possible. Um, it actually takes a lot of people a lot of time uh, to create these characters and to allow that quality to show through. So it's, it's a huge effort to make any character in our game. And when we're designing a power and we consider it to be done, it isn't really done and it won't be done for a while. We listen to the community, we get feedback about what we're doing, and we try and incorporate that all into game balance as we make them all as best they can possibly be. Everyone who reads the comics has a different feel about what that character should be doing or what that character should look like. 
And now you can take that character and make it exactly the way you want it.